on Wikipedia, look up atomic battery, and you'll see that uh, the research for nuclear battery technology began in 1913 with a Mr. Henry Mosley. Uh, now here we are a hundred years later, a year from now a hundred years, and uh, we are using nuclear batteries in spacecraft, but I'm questioning why haven't we uh, discovered how to uh, to convert nuclear waste into that sort of energy? I mean, to extract the radionuclides from nuclear waste materials and uh, to reuse it in the form of a nuclear battery. Now in my previous videos I've discussed the uh, laser reactive radionuclear removal concept drawing and some studies that I've done for uh, quite a long time. Um, I'm not a fortunate person who has uh, been able to work with other professionals in the field uh, other than around nuclear power on nuclear submarines and that in itself is another story but uh, I believe that if we were to construct the right sort of uh, facility we could resolve a lot of problems that uh, plague the nuclear power industry um, I haven't gotten anyone to listen to me so I'll document these videos on YouTube and uh, maybe after I'm dead and gone someone will pay attention to it Now one thing we've learned from uh, some painful experiences is that neutron radiation from an alpha source is pretty nasty and very destructive both uh, biologically and uh, upon other structures as well as living tissue. It can uh, turn uh, plastic into powder. When I well, I, I don't want to give away too much because I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy concerning certain nuclear issues and my time on uh, nuclear submarines. But let's just say that in one situation, uh, there was some uh, insulation exposed to neutron radiation. And uh, shortly after the exposure, uh, when the hands were put on this insulation, it crumbled like ashes and uh, the insulation was formerly some, some pretty heavy-duty stuff so suffice it to say neutron radiation is, is no joke and and there's a lot of fear surrounding it but uh, my belief is as it has been ever since my uh, first work with uh, nuclear power and, and on nuclear submarines is that the waste materials however dangerous it is it shouldn't be just locked away and, and, and we hope that it's going to just go away. It can be used and the nuclear uh, materials that are still emitting neutron radiation can actually produce power in the same way that a nuclear battery does. It's just a matter of separating it from uh, other materials in a way that it can be collective and effectively used and I think I've discovered that um, I probably won't get a patent in my lifetime because of the cost and, and the need to uh, to have the uh, the drawings that are very specific to materials and uh, well let's just say you, you need to do the experiments and do uh, to fabricate the materials that are specific to the task it's beyond my capacity at the time, but I'm sure 
that uh, it's going to happen. 